What's up, everybody? King of FOMO here coming at you with your daily crypto update. Make sure you follow me over there on Telegram. That's t.me slash King of FOMO1, as well as my TikTok channel, which is going to be listed right there on the screen. All right, so today we're going to be talking about PancakeSwap, the Binance smart, tra smart Chain, and how to get started. There's not really a good, succinct tutorial out there, so I'm going to create one for you guys so you guys can get into this right away. Uh, just a quick overview. One of the reasons why the Binance coin, the BNB token, and a lot of coins on the Binance smart chain are blowing up right now is because it is more user friendly in, in the current moment. With Ethereum sitting at close to about $2,000, transaction fees are upwards of $100 to buy or sell a coin on Uniswap and on the Ethereum network. So a lot of these other coins and, and networks are coming out to kind of replace the Ethereum network in terms of doing some of this decentralized trading. It's sort of a war right now as to who's going to be the one on top in terms of the second layer. And I think that PancakeSwap, Binance, and the Binance Smart Chain is definitely, at least today, winning that war. So I'm going to show you guys how to get started with this and show you guys a couple of things that you can do once you get moved over here to the Binance Smart Chain. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to get yourself the Binance Smart Wallet. All right, you can download that on Google Chrome. Just type in Binance Smart Chain Network Wallet in Google and you will get that. I'll leave links in the description so you guys aren't confused about where to find this stuff because there's a lot of stuff that you have to go and get. All right, so that's step one. Um, now, when you get this wallet installed and you save all the information and all that stuff, you'll notice that there are actually three networks on this wallet. There's the Binance Chain Network, the Binance Smart Chain Network, which is what you're working with for trading these coins, and the Ethereum Network. Um, so we're going to stick with these two at the top right here. We're not really going to mess around with the Ethereum Network too much here on this. Um, so that is step one. Now step two, I'm going to give step two for United States citizens. Step two is a pretty easy if you're not in the United States and you're not in a banned country. You simply just go to Binance and pick up some BNB and send it to your Binance wallet. Uh, if you're in the United States, it's a lot harder to get a hold of the Binance token. But in reality, you really only need like literally one token to get started and then the rest is pretty easy. Um, so to get a Binance token, there's really two easy ways to do this. Um, uh, one is to use a website called Simple Swap. You simply just swap any one of your other cryptocurrencies to uh, Binance, BNB, BNB. And once you do that, it's going to ask for you to put in your address. Now, the address that you put in, you do have two different addresses in the Binance Smart Chain, or in the Binance Wallet. You're going to want to go for the Binance Chain Network address, which is going to be right here. It starts with the BNB. All right. So once those tokens are sent over to you, like I said, you literally just need one at the moment, but you can get more. Uh, so once those tokens are sent over to you on the Binance Chain Network, whether you're using Simple Swap, another method is to use the Exodus wallet and just swap in there, uh, or just any type of atomic swap that you can do really quickly. Um, and those don't require KYC or signing up for exchanges or anything like that. So that's why I, I use that. But once you have your token in here, the next step is to send it to the Binance Smart Chain. There's really not that much you can do with the BNB token on the Binance Chain Network. So we have to move over to Binance Smart Chain. So I would just go over here, click on Binance Smart Chain Network and copy your address and then just go back to the other network, the chain network, and send your BNB over to that address. It'll say, hey, you want to swap networks? And you say yes. And then you'll have your tokens available there within a few seconds on the Binance Smart Chain, and you're going to be ready to get started. Now, granted, you might not have that much BNB. Um, that's okay, because uh, what you can do is you can go over to the um, next exchanger, which is going to be the Binance dot um, org bridge. This is just this decentralized smart contract on the Binance website. Now, full disclosure and disclaimer here, when you log on to here using uh, a United States address, you're going to get this message that comes up. Uh, if you're from any of these countries, you cannot use the uh, you cannot use the website. Uh, but keep in mind, this is a decentralized website. So it's not like they're getting your information really that much. Um, read the terms and conditions. I'm not entirely sure about that, but they're not really getting your information too much here. Um, you don't have to send your ID or anything. It's a, it's a smart contract essentially. Um, so you can get around this by just using a VPN. When you use a VPN, that warning will go away. And then you can go through this step. This is for my people that have Ethereum. A lot of you guys have tons and tons of Ethereum. So you're simply just going to go, and you can do this with Tron as well. So you're simply just gonna go to the Ethereum network right here, and you're gonna use your assets, whatever asset you have. You can even send Bitcoin over. So we're gonna do Ethereum. 
and we want to send it over to the Binance Smart Chain Network. So if I wanted to send one ETH over, again, with my VPN enabled, it's going to allow me to connect my wallet and to send it over, and I'm going to give them the address of my uh, Binance wallet right here, uh, right here. So you guys can scan that and send that over, and then you should be able to get Ethereum or whatever coin you're sending over on the Binance Smart Chain. All right, that's the easiest way to do it, especially if you already have a lot of Ethereum and doesn't really cost anything to do that. You just use this bridge. There is a maximum limit of like 50 Ethereum, but I mean, how many of you guys are actually gonna hit that maximum limit? Anyway, so once you do that, you will have your Binance tokens and your Ethereum tokens on the Binance Smart Chain. Now, if you're not a big fan of this Binance Smart Chain wallet, you can still use the MetaMask wallet. All you have to do is go to your MetaMask settings um, and you need to type in what you see on the screen right here. So you can pause the video if you need to and type in all this stuff. Go ahead and click on save, and then you can switch your chain to make sure it's on the Binance Smart Chain. And then you can send all of your tokens that you have on your Binance wallet over to MetaMask if you prefer using MetaMask. Either one will work however. All right, so once you have that all set up, you have your Ethereum on the Binance Smart Chain, you have a little bit of BNB, and you'll see the reason why. You might wanna purchase a little bit more BNB uh, to be able to cover for gas fees, because when you're uh, using the Pancake Swap or any type of smart contract on the Binance network, you will need some BNB for gas fees. That's why you can't just skip any of these steps. Uh, if you just send Ethereum over, you won't be able to do anything with it because you need BNB to activate a transaction. Anyway, so over on PancakeSwap, this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's just like Uniswap. You guys can exchange your BNB or your Ethereum or anything else for any of these tokens. And uh, you know, a lot of these are blowing up right now. Um, you know, I'm really going to be looking at these pretty deep. Uh, I'm looking at particularly the Crow token and a few other ones, uh, but a lot of money's flowing into here. And that's that's the main thing with this second layer um, solution is. There's tons of other second layer solutions right now. There's tons of other ways that you can do this. You can plug in tons of other data right here and go into different ch blockchains or chain networks and um, it'll work fast, you know, just as efficiently as BNB. However, the difference is uh, with Binance, it actually has the huge, huge volume. I mean, you can go over here to PancakeSwap in general. You can see that this has almost a billion dollars of liquidity in it already. And that's the main thing. If, you're, if your chain doesn't have liquidity, you can't really trade anything. You're not going to get good deals on anything. But this one is kind of shaping up to be the second place performer to Uniswap. All right, so there's plenty of coins that you guys can trade on here. There's farms available too. A lot of this stuff is very lucrative. If you're, if you're gonna be doing some research, definitely do some research on some new stuff on the Binance chain. Uh, like I said, you guys can see the APY that you're gonna be getting from this. Also be careful though, of course, with great hype comes a great fall. Uh, and you know, there's definitely a chance that the cake token, the BNB token will dump a little bit. But I don't know, I still think that this is kind of the beginning. I feel, still think that they'll rise before they dump and we're kind of in a safe period at the moment that's just my thoughts but again you can do farms here and um, I'll do separate videos about that uh, you guys should understand how farms work uh, another farm that you guys might want to check out though is the crow token farm this one's kind of interesting the supply is super low the supply is only 467 tokens so I'm definitely looking at this one and the APY is pretty high very high risk though I think it's got uh, it doesn't really have that much trading volume or liquidity but nonetheless you guys can check out all of these different coins that are only available on the Binance smart chain and let me know what you guys think anyway that is the tutorial hopefully that helped you guys all the links to the websites and the uh, messages that you have to put in here will be in the description if you guys need it and hopefully you guys can get started and try it out yourself the transaction fees are way cheaper here that's the main thing that's one of the reasons why I'm not talking too much about ethereum coins uh because i know that people are priced out like like it, it's it's cost you thousands of dollars to do something slightly profitable over on the ethereum blockchain in a short period of time um with the binance chain you can spend ten dollars again and, and double that or triple it that is just not something that you can do on uniswap uh, at the current moment with how gas fees are and how expensive ethereum is all right that's everything for today guys like comment subscribe follow that tiktok channel if you haven't yet peace out